Breaking news in Isle of Wight County. That is where police are following up on a lead for missing teenager AJ Hadsell of Norfolk. 10 on your side's Joe Fisher has been following the search efforts for weeks. So Joe, exactly what led police to Isle of Wight? Yeah, Katie, we that's what we're trying to figure out. So we do all we know is that police received a tip. The nature of that tip from Norfolk Police has not been released. We were told that they got here at eight o'clock this morning, although many neighbors have told us that they have actually been out here since three o'clock yesterday afternoon, and then they were here till seven o'clock last night before returning this morning. Let's give you a look at the pond behind me with uh, a number of people here and dive teams on scene. This uh, pond is actually on private property and seems to be the extent of the search area. It does not seem like this search goes any further than this pond right here. Like I said, they got out here around 8 o'clock this morning, and this is on the corner of Route 258 in Isle and uh, Joiner's Bridge Road. 258 and Joiner's Bridge Road in Carsville, that's in Isle of Wight County. This pond area, uh, like I said, it's a pretty large pond. I'm told by EMS staff um, on scene that they were told to be on standby for a couple of days. So it's possible that this search will take more than just today. Uh, neighbors were told that their cell phone was uh, actually pinged in this area. That information uh, we don't have from police, but detectives have asked neighbors um, if they've seen anything suspicious. Um, Carsville, uh, Carsville EMS is on standby here. The Isle of Wight Sheriff's Office is on standby. Neighbors have been approached by detectives, and uh, they are watching from a distance. They have been out here today, and they woke me up with opening the doors to the trailer and stuff, pulling equipment out. They've had divers in the pond, and they've had other people in the pond searching around the border of the pond. Yeah, and this is a very typically quiet corner, so neighbors tell me. One other thing that I do want to mention in this search is that one neighbor actually told me they came up and they showed the neighbor a picture of a white van that on the side of the van said quality plumbing. Have you seen this truck? That's what they wanted to know. And the neighbor said, I have seen that truck. I have seen that truck, and it was about a week and a half ago. About quality plumbing, that is where Angelica's father, Wesley Hatzel, was employed at the time of Angelica's disappearance. And if you've been following this story like we have here at Wavy, you know that Angelica's father, Wesley, was arrested on now seven charges, including obstructing justice and breaking and entering. He's in jail still, and he was arrested about a week and a half to two weeks ago when that man says he saw the quality plumbing truck in the area. So that is a story that we're going to try to be vetting today, trying to get more information to see if he is, is at all connected. I have been talking with AJ's mother, Jennifer. She tells me that um, Wesley was at the time of Angelica's disappearance coming to this area, coming to the Franklin area um, for work for quality plumbing. We do not know if uh, that was Wesley driving the truck that day that the neighbors saw him. Uh, those are all details that we are sorting out at this point. Uh, we are going to be out here all day long trying to collect more information. We'll be back later on today on Wavy News 10 at 4 with more details. For now, we're live in Isle of Wight. Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.